The Renard mine is the first diamond mine in Quebec. So we are planning to operate an open pit mine in the beginning and after that an, an underground mine. We will process uh, approximately 2.1 to 2.5 million tons of ore per year. It will produce uh, 1.6 to 2 million carats of diamond per year. To finance a mining project, actually, it's really difficult. As you know, all the, uh, the commodities are depressed and we are facing tough times in terms of economy, actually. So we had to show improvement in our OPEX. We had to prove that we can develop a better margin. And it's also when what was a source of motivation for us to have the LNG. And it's a clean energy if you compare it to others. Uh, and it helps in terms of, you know, a project like our project, we need, no matter if you have good return, no matter if you are profitable, you need to have a buy-in by the stakeholders. And the fact that we find the best technology available to produce energy that can in both ways do better for the environment and improve the balance sheet. It's a win-win deal. This is basically what's helped us. To operate the, the power plant itself, in terms of the engines, we are fully supported by the CAD dealer, as we was here with. So we'll operate five joint sets. We'll have one in standby and one in maintenance, basically. So we're going to have seven. To justify the investment in a natural gas genset for a mine site like us is the, the greenhouse gas emission. Uh, we will reduce our impact by 22,000 tons of greenhouse gas per year. And natural gas gensets are operating at a higher temperature. So what that means is we are recovering heat in, in the cooling system, in the heat exchangers, and in the stackers, in the chimney. So, and we are using the heat that we are recovering to heat the underground mine, okay, in the ventilation rays. So what that means is 27% less for the, just for the operation of the, the genset themselves, and 15% because we are using the heat, we are recovering the heat to heat the underground mine. So it's 42%. So it's, no, we are reducing our impact and we are improving our operating gas. The main reason why we have an NG genset on site. Personally, I had to deal with, uh, I was a mining, I was an operator of a mine in 2008 after when, the, when we faced a huge bump in the, in the diesel price. I was really sensitive to that. It happened, so it will re-happen. So I'm sure of this. So that's, and at that time, uh, it was really difficult to make a profit, basically because all the money went to the diesel price. So for me, it was always something in the back burner I want to take care of protect the operation on a long-term long -term basis. But what is particular to us is to transport LNG on 1,000 kilometers to the site. Okay? This is what is new. And you know, uh, a few years ago, we had a major incident in Lac Mégantic in Quebec with a massive explosion when a train crossed the, the town and explodes. So we are, as an engineer in Canada, more sensitive to, uh, to uh, fuel transportation. LNG is a huge advantage in terms of transport. It's safer. Uh, if we have a leak, it will evaporate. It will not go in the water table. So it's a lot of advantage to reduce our impact and reduce the risk on our stakeholders. So that's, the, that's also a big item. And at the end, the cost is a big driver. And you know, in our case, we plan to build a mine for the long term, for 20 years. So uh, it was basically the, the main kicker to justify this investment.